Uh, it was a better one. Yeah, always. <laughs> yeah. Mike, any update on Jamie Alexia? Jamie is out with a concussion. Oh! Do you have to, you know, think about how you distribute the minutes defensively? And I know obviously someone will be stepping in for Jamie, but just some guys who played so much um, last night defensively, do you have to change how you distribute those minutes or you just kind of roll through it? Yeah, I, I don't. You know, obviously we'll have six defensemen at our disposal tonight, and that's uh, so that will give us, give Jacques an opportunity to to try to spread the minutes a little bit more evenly. And uh, you know, we, we're going to have to try to do that with the amount of games that we're playing here over the last little while, anyway. So we're trying to utilize the whole bench. When you go down a defenseman that early in the game, it's difficult. And so certain guys played a lot of minutes, but you know, we believe we've got pretty fit guys as well. So, uh, but but we'll try to be conscious of trying to spread the workload. When you see the way your club and your players responded last night to the in-game situations, to the moment, um, how difficult is it the next night to get a turnaround like that? Well, I, you know, it, obviously last night is uh, against a divisional rival. It's, uh, you know, there's, there's lots of history between the two teams. They're always emotional games, and uh, it had a playoff feel to it. So, uh, you know, everyone was pretty invested in that win. Our challenge is we've got to come back and do it again. And that's uh, that's the nature of uh, this league. We, we want to try to build on the momentum uh, from from that win. Obviously, we were thrilled with with the effort. I thought it was a real character win from a player standpoint. I give our, our players and our leadership group a lot of credit for uh, you know for stepping up to a difficult challenge. And, uh, but now we've got to move by it. We've got a big challenge ahead of us tonight, and that's what we got to work towards. Phil on the left side, and the right side on power play. Uh, is there any advantage to, to one side or the other? Well, there's advantages to both, and so uh, it's it's just a different look. It, it presents different challenges when you're when you're on the penalty kill. It opens up different options. So um, you know we're, we're trying to we're trying to become a power play that's a little bit less predictable that has uh, that has more looks, and um, you know that's one, that's certainly one of them. Uh, it's a common look in the league. It, we're not the only ones doing it. Um, but, but certainly that is an option for our, for our group as well. Yeah, he's always done it, he's always been able to handle it, but are you even accounting last night when you, when you get up to, you know that he's up you know, 30 minutes, you know, midway through the third period or whatever it is, and you, you Yeah, we're really aware of where he's at. Do you, is he just monitoring him and he's fine and you keep playing him, is that the way it is? Is there a point where you pull back or you, is this, he was good enough that he didn't want to? Well, I, I just think Chris is, uh, he's a unique player in that his fitness level is really high. He's, He's one guy that can handle a high workload and always has shown an ability to do that. And so, uh, you know, we, we certainly don't want to, we don't want to get him in that range every single night, but on occasion, if that's what it's called for, we know he's capable. And, uh, and certainly he showed it last night. When there's stuff said about one of your players from the outside and you have to respond with, do you, do you bring it up internally with players like that or do you not? No. Thoughts tomorrow back in the lineup? Yes. Thanks, Kevin.